and welcome to Flute of the Loop. My name is Leanna and today we are testing out the Dijal DZ400. This is a flute with a solid silver head joint and a silver plated body with silver plated keys. It's a lovely little intermediate model. So let's see what it sounds like. fun already. Let's see what it sounds like uh, with the chromatic scale. Okay. Yeah, really, really fun. I can push a lot of air into this thing and it sings really beautifully. So let's see how it sounds um, melodically. We're gonna give this a shot with um, Carmen by DZ. sparkling upper register. I do wonder if I can make that high B a little bit sweeter. Yeah, it definitely can. It just needed a little bit more air than I was giving it. So let's give it a try in something a little bit more technical. We're going to play just a snippet of Mendelssohn's Midsummer Night's Dream, which one of my favorite etudes to test out an instrument not necessarily one of my favorite etudes to perform. So let's see how she does on her response. <laughs> Yeah, very, very quick, very, very responsive. Um, any of the flubs you might have heard was entirely on me. I am slightly getting used to the keys and it does feel like the right hand keys have a slightly heavier action than what I'm used to, but it, the keys are not very high. So it is closer to where my, um, my personal flute sits. So it's just a little bit of an adjustment there. Finally, let's put all of it together and we're going to play just a tiny bit of uh, Daphnis and Chloe just to do combo deal of melodic and also virtuosic and also to see what we can do with these tone colors. Okay, that's an adjustment. Yeah, 
so she's got some range to her. As you notice, I had a little bit of trouble in the high, high range, um, but that's because on notes like F sharp or high E, a lot of flutes are very, very particular, and I am very used to where those notes sit on my personal instrument, and they happen to be in a very, very different spot than where they are on this instrument. So I had to adjust, and as you can see, I did get them out eventually, so um, it's something that you get used to and not necessarily something that makes this instrument any better or worse. So you just have to learn each flute and where it likes to sit. So yeah, a really fun instrument for an intermediate model that is really quite beautiful. So if you are interested in trying out the Dijo DZ400, you can check out my sponsor for today's video. A uh, big thank you to Fluteworks for sponsoring this video. And if you want to try it for yourself, you can give them a call or send them an email. Mm -hmm.